Alright guys, welcome back to another free-to-play review! Walkthrough, not review, my apologies. Today we are playing Sanctified! A game by Dan McGrath. Must be a horror game. I don't know how to maximize it, so it's not gonna scare me too much, I don't believe, but... It should be maximized for y'all. Wake up, stranger! Good, you took a bad hit to the head. He looks like a damn me. Don't move around too much. Or I'm gonna have to pop you. We'll be at the hotel soon. Where are you taking me? Who am I? Don't worry, your wife and child should be there soon. Oh, there too. I think we're dead. I think we're dead and we're getting transported to the next world. You need to get some rest. I'll drop you off. They know you're coming. I like that we can move our camera around. <laughs> Graphics are kind of sketchy though. Thank the Father for this tonight. Who's the Father? Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit? Oh, I don't know. I think we're dead. I think we're dead. I'm feeling pretty dead. Look at this car. This is a freaking awesome car. What is this, a Mustang? I don't know. Oh, there's another car. What kind of car is this one? Oh, wow. It's a... Um, Another must uh, is it a Mustang or a Camaro? I don't know. I don't know, but it's pretty fabulous. Let's go inside. Enter the building. Okay, click is how you enter the building, apparently. Oh. Oh, uh, good evening, stranger. What's up, fam? W welcome to the Halfborn Hotel. Room number seven, I believe. Room? <laughs> oh, yes, oh dear. S stupid. Stupid. Seems we misplaced the key. Oh well. The caretaker should have a c c copy, I think. I, I saw him making <laughs> for the bathroom a little while ago. My apologies. Enjoy your st stay. <laughs> mm. Got a st st stutter. <laughs> oh, I shouldn't laugh at that. Oh, I apologize. I was just having to read it like that was messing me up. <laughs> okay, what was I doing? I need to find the caretaker, right? Let's go this way. Oh, we have multiple ways to go. Interesting. Very interesting. What is this? That looks like a lantern or something, don't it? Or glass? I guess it's the glass. What is Can I interact with these things? I can't. Is this hallway never ending? Oh, stairs. Interesting. Very interesting. Don't kill me, stairs, please. I can't see shit. Oh, there's more stairs that way. There's pitch black nothingness this way. Oh, what's up, fam? You beating your junk? Shh. Loudly now. Yes, I'm alone. <laughs> Good. Too many This is here. And whispering is my game. Walls, I hear scratching. Always. The hotel is old. Older than stone, I think. I don't like the windows, so my room doesn't have any. I'm glad you get to make those choices. How can I now? Can I touch your stuff? Okay, I want to touch your stuff. Reading up. Father told me not to go to the back lot anymore. He said the rain and hailstorm had flooded the area. The mud was thick, and he was afraid I would get stuck in it. I asked him about the truck, but he ignored me. I went on about the dog I had found in the back lot, how it hurt heard it was by the storm, and that he could nurse it back to health in, no, in time. I asked, could I help, as I was the one who found it? He said no. I replied, it's not even a dog anyways. What? Crazy people. Freaking crazy people, dude. Yeah, I'm t this... I need a flashlight? <laughs> if possible, that'd be really cool. Can I get a flashlight? Can a brother get a flashlight? That'd be freaking awesome if I could. Wait, there were stairs over this way, weren't there? I could have swore I saw some stairs. There we go. To the roof! Oh, it needs a key! Oh, we found later in game progress. Interesting. This is pretty neat so far. This story's pretty interesting. I wish I had a flashlight because it's pretty dark. Alright. Let's go back to where we were supposed to go originally, but we didn't because I am, uh... Dumb. Because I'm a dumb. Okay. 
Where'd you say I needed to go? Oh, he ain't gonna tell me again. Okay, that's fine. I wouldn't repeat myself either. Um, can I interact with these doors? It does not seem so. Doors open sesame! Oh, there's blood. Uh-oh. And it looks like it went this way. Interesting. Very interesting. Pick up the key. Oh, we found a key. Great. Wonderful. What an absolutely fabulous doing. See where this blood came from, shall we? We can't. The door is locked. But I know where this key goes. Don't you worry. I know where this key goes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm a little bit hyper for some reason. I do have to go for a jog soon. Maybe my body's trying to get me amped up for it so I don't die. I remember when I find it, found it. A hailstorm in November 1984 bombarded the hotel. It seemed like it went on for days. The constant tapping on the windows and roof tiles created a cacophony of sound like noise. It drove us mad. Evening fell on the Friday of that week, and the hail subsided. Patrons complained of the damaged cars and windows to the dissatisfaction of my father. He told me to check the old truck we had, parked in the back lot behind the hotel. I remember going outside and seeing something amongst the slush and water that had flooded the back lot. It looked like a dirty jacket in the mud, but as clo I got closer, I could see it was alive. Okay, that must be the dog he's talking about. The lights come on in here? It looks a little bit more bright. Let's take these keys to the roof! What is this? Is this a door? No, that's a beam. That is a beam! That is what's holding up this fabulous establishment. Okay, I have a key for you, door. I am back. Round two. Open door. We did it. Hooray. Is this my room? My room's kind of nice. It's got stuff in it. That's cool. I got even like notes everywhere. I don't know how we got here. Last thing I remember is drifting to sleep in my bed with my husband and putting our son Adam to his bed. As I fell slowly to sleep, I swore I heard a noise in the hallway. It cracked, creaking and a shuffling, then nothing. I woke up in this room with my son. No sign of my husband. I think we may be in a hotel. The door is locked. I bang on the door for some time, but I upset Adam. Who's that? Oh, the son. They gave him some toy cars to play with. Hopefully it keeps him distracted. Where is my husband? I miss him. I keep hearing whispering outside the door now. I'm afraid. Me too. Today I worked at reception, covering for Sarah again. Is this from the same person? I hope father fires her. We've had people not turning in their keys as they leave. Anyway, I got no sleep tonight. Father burst into my room at around 3 a.m. He needed extra blankets for the dog he had found. He... Said it got sick and was cold out in the back lot. I told him to bring the creature inside. He looked at me with angry eyes. Why? S so you can have it? He's got a stutter too, he said. Confused, I replied. No, so it can get in from the cold. It's snowing outside. He looked away, back toward the dark of the corridor, outside the doorway. It's cold. He left the room. It is cold. I'm confused. I'm so confused. Help me. What do I need to do? I've read the notes. I've done the things. What do I need to do now? Help me. Do I need to go outside the room? Is that what you're telling me? I guess we can go outside the room if you really want me to. Okay, so we found our room. What the hell? This is different. Okay, interesting. This is not where we uh, came from originally, I don't believe, unless these are stairs. Yeah, I'm in a new dimension. Wonderful. My favorite. I love when I get transported to a new mysterious dimension in the same building. What is up? I'd, they moved me to this room some time ago. They separated me from my son. I can hear faint music outside the door. I asked a strange man where my husband was. They said he was on his way. I'm worried now. I hope my son is okay. I hope my husband is okay. Why is this happening? I'm confused, scared, and angry. I need to get out, us out of here. I hear them coming. What happened to my wife? I was about to catch all these paws, bro. All freaking two of them. be something we can interact with here. Why does that look like it goes on forever? 
how many hallways are there? Are there three or two? It looks like there could be three. Exit. Wonderful. Let's go out the exit. Oh, we can't go out the exit. Interesting. Very interesting. Uh, there's gotta be something. Oh, hail. What's up, dog? Is that my wife? Welcome to our humble hotel. Welcome to our humble hotel. We are blessed this night. Are you lost? Yes. Yes, I'm lost. Oh, looking for your family? Well, they went out exit, but it's locked. Thank you. I think I can help you. Can you? I'm missing three pages from my journal. Bring them to me. Now. Once I have them, I will show you the way out. Are you my wife? I would know. Don't mind the others. They are lost and will remain so. Very interesting. Still no sign of Sarah and the patrons are still not turning in their keys. Father got me to check the rooms after they scheduled checkout times. The rooms would be vacant. Nothing taken from the rooms. Everything where it should be. Keys would never turn up. I offered to call a locksmith, but Father seems to always find spares. He says the spares are leftovers from when the building was originally built. I asked him, will he replace Sarah? Not for now. Is this one of your notes, lady? Um, my right click isn't working anymore. Did I do something? Where's my mouse at? I think I went outside the screen. God diggity darn. Am my right click is not working? Can I get help? Do I have to do this all over again? Are you fuck? Ah! <laughs> oh, Lord Almighty! Bring them to me. Like the most evil demand ever. You know when they say bring you something like three items, like the elements or some shit? You know something bad's about to happen? Like they're obviously evil. And they just want to like use these items to do something incredibly evil. Right, now we can continue with the game from where we left off. It'll be fun and fantastic. I don't know how I'm supposed to carry her letters though, to be honest, because I've read them. Does that count as carrying them? I don't know. But this is new. Hell, oh, that is light. I was like, what the heck? Oh, hell, is that a child? What did I just see over here? What's up, man? Who, who are you? Who, who, who are you? I'm the caretaker of this hotel. Well, I was. They grabbed me in the bathroom lobby. He's more of an old man. They took everything! That's more like it. Everything! My clothes, my keys, my money! <laughs> okay. They made me do awful things. But I got away! <laughs> okay, cool. Interesting. Need to get out! Thank you. I think I might just stay here. Why would you want me to get out but you stay here? Hmm. Conspiracy. Is this a note? Father has locked me in my room. He is angry. I can hear him shouting in the hallway. I thought I went in, out in the back lot. I thought I heard crying when I was by the back doors of the hotel. Back lot was fine, dry and no mud flooding to speak of. I walked out into the darkness and heard voices. I followed them until I saw something terrible. I saw Sarah, but she wasn't wearing any clothes and there were others. No clothes on, all standing around Sarah. They had things in their hands, but I couldn't see what they were. Next, on my, next thing I knew, my father grabbed me from behind and dragged me into the house. What was happening here? I think father is coming to speak with me. That sounds like some kind of weird orgy stuff going on there. 
I'm not an expert, but that's what it sounds like to me. Can't see because it's so dark. Ah, a new oh, she's naked. What the naked? Is that even a person? You got anything in here naked? What are you doing? Just rolling? Oh, I found a journal page. Cool. The note reads The sun guides us. We walk the path carefully. The sun is our guide, our light in the darkness of sin. We who are his, we who are not our own. We who are devout and without soul. Is this rhyming? I don't know. We who are not as others. Interesting. We got a journal page. Fantastic. Let's look for more journal pages. We need three. I found one. It's not a good ratio from need to want or need what I have. Hail! All right. Is this a journal page? No, this is not a journal page. Why not? Uh, see, that's a door. Is this a door? That is a door. What a nice door. Okay, where are we exactly right now? Because I don't know. Did we go this way? Hotel is very confusing in its layout. I think I just ended up in the same place that I was at. So let's not go down that hallway. Hmm. Strange. Oh, hail. What's up, dog? What are you looking at the window for, you weirdo? Hmm. Pretty sure we're dead. Getting that uh, real dead vibe from in here. There's old Jesus prayer over there. Make sure this is not a journal page. I don't know if I need to... I don't know. We'll find it it's somewhere, I'm sure. That's all we, we came through. There's a lot of freaking hallways and stuff, dog. Does this count as a journal page? I hope so. Right. How long have you been sitting here, you freaking weirdo? I did not see him last time. Did y'all see him last time? I did not. Got a journal page in here. Coming for the journal page. What's up, Dave? Journal page? Yes! Hooray! You found a journal page! Wonderful. The note reads His children are loyal and strong. Strong! Muy fuerte. They bathe under the moon, bathe under the moon and star. When he calls their names, they rejoice at the sound. Isn't really scary. They will crawl into Tua's image, revel in the sound of his voice. When the skies lie open, when a visitor comes to his mass, yeah, there's some weird cult shit going on here. Mm -hmm. Typical cult stuff going on. Ah, is this the last journal page? That'd be great. Of course not. I had a strange dream last night. I was standing in a field amongst all my family. I didn't know the people. All I knew is that they were my family. There was a small a smell of burning. Over my shoulder, I could feel a cold, great presence. It put its pressure on me, and I felt warm yet cold. I woke from the dream to my father bursting into the room. Blood was peppered on his clothing, clothes, and he was crying. He screamed, Son, you must help! There has been a terrible accident. I jumped from my bed and followed him into the dark and cold corridor. Slipped on the stairs and fell. Last thing I could recall is a distant sound of someone weeping. Really weird that you wrote that note while you were uh, slipping and falling. Really weird. Do you have the last note, homie? I hope you do. Yes! Wonderful. You found a journal page. The note reads... Sacrifice in silence. Suffer in silence. <laughs> we join ourselves under this light. His voice guides. We will obey his word. His holy word. 
Holy Ward! We were released under the light. Uh, <laughs> from his hand uh, pours the fountains of truth. Kala uh, <laughs> es muane. Nah. I don't know. That was some kind of Latin, I'm assuming. What's in this closet? Nothing. What are you doing? Stop standing there, dude. It's really weird. Yeah, I guess we can go back to Lady. I just want to make sure there's nothing else I'm missing. That could possibly lead, lead to a good ending in this game, because I'm obviously going to the bad ending. Obviously. I don't know if there is a good ending, but it'd be nice if we could find it before we get to the bad ending. I know that giving this lady her damn three journal pages is not the right answer. If there is a right answer. Oh, we got him. And we'll do it. I gotta progress the game. But I think it's the wrong thing to do. <laughs> Just to put that out there. You over here? Where you at, lady? Yeah, should be one over. Alright, girl, I got your shit. What's up? You have returned! <laughs> I gotta stop that. You're a worthy child indeed. Okay, she's asking for it. Just get the... Our father is wise and forgiving. Uh, <laughs> The others will be left behind. Uh, but you... You can leave this place. Uh, go to the exit door. Uh. <laughs> okay, thank you. You will find it unlocked. Uh. Go and find your family. Uh. Okay, this will be the last time. Uh, I will pray for them. <laughs> okay, I'm done with that. That was getting annoying to me. Now leave the path ahead. It's lit for you. Now I'm really done with it. Okay. Unless the father comes and I'm doing it again. I don't care. <laughs> Regardless, I'm doing it. Open the door. Holy shit. We're outside. Is this the back lot? I don't think we were supposed to go in the back lot. Hmm. Where is my family? Saw a strange light through my window as I was falling asleep last night. Night and day have molded, molded into one here. I have been bedridden since the accident. Father checks on me every day. I ask him about the dog that he takes care of in the back lot. He said it died from the cold when he left him out there. He said that he was sad. As the dog was his friend. We could get another dog, I said to him. My father turned toward the door and said, I'm okay, we have Sarah now. I'm so confused. What is going on here? Is Sarah my wife? I'm on this path. I don't really know where it leads. So, there's grass. Where are we going? Am I going the right way? Does anyone know? Where is my family? Eh. This looks like a path. I'm assuming it's a path. There's something over there. Let's go look at that. Oh shit, it's naked people. What are y'all doing? Oh crap, they hung somebody. Y'all better not freaking attack me. Oh, there's some weird people. I'm writing this before the police gets here. A terrible night has befallen us. I wake, awoke to the screaming and sound of running and fighting in the corridors. I gathered my strength and got out of my bed. I exited my room in the corridor only to find guests of the hotel fighting each other. Some lay on the ground motionless, their bodies naked and covered in blood. I tried to speak to some of them, but they spoke in a language I could not understand. I looked for father. Soon I could hear the sound of, like, hail outside. Alrighty, let's try to find the path again. Y'all need to stop hanging people? That'd be real cool. I'm just gonna keep going this way. Or y'all. I don't know where the path went, so. Whatever. God dang naked people. Up to no good. I found Father outside in the back lot, barely alive. He was bleeding from his stomach and taking a bad beating. Go to Sarah, she will help you, he said. What about you? I cried. I am lost, just like the others, but Sarah will be guide will guide you. Please find her. But father, go Ethan. Leave me now. Ethan? Ethan was the guy that was doing the desk, right? I could have swore that was his name. Or was he the one that drove me out here? I don't know. What's up? 
Welcome to our little congregation! I guess he's father. Okay. Yep, I'm here. The sky is open and we are blessed. We are surrounded by the worthy. What's up with this gate, man? Can you take it down? That'd be real cool. We are amongst his blessed children. Nah. Now you and your family have been selected. Aw, oh, shit. <laughs> That's never good. What if I don't want to be selected? Our offering is missing a few things. I'd rather not be an offering. Huh. Weird. Let's pick out the pieces to please our father. I would not want to do that. I would like to leave. The night will soon reveal all. You tell me I gotta look for stuff in this abandoned place to find some pieces. I'd rather just go. Is that... Ah, there's a head there, right? Is that a head? So I gotta find... Two more body part pieces, wherever the hell that could be. Hmm. Interesting. This is a pretty big area, so this does not seem great to me. I, I'm not a big fan. Oh, there's one. Well, great. We found one. Up naked. Oh, we're one down. Now we just gotta find one more. I wonder where that could be. Okay, maybe this area is not as big as I thought it was. Maybe it is. I don't know. I need heads, dudes. Can y'all, like, rip off a head of somebody? That'd be real cool. Just, like, pass it to me. So I don't have to do it myself. That'd be... Great. D-R-E-A-T. D-E-A-U-tiful. Alright, what's over here? What are y'all naked people everywhere? What's over here? Got ahead? Great, we got them all. Thanks. <laughs> Why are you praying to these weird symbols? Whatever. We well, did it! That went a lot- Oh, you can sprint? What? Since when? Interesting. What a predicament. Place the head. Place the head. Can I get out of here now? Please, thank you. Thank you. Where's my family? Oh. Cutscene. Who is that naked person? Oh, I can move? Interesting, interesting. They're all praying to something. It is I, the standing naked man with the torch! Okay, cool. Where are we going? Can we leave? Be cool. I'd like that. I don't understand. Hopefully that's not my family that they're hanging up. The path! Da 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 da. What does that mean? What does da 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 mean? Blood assault! Flesh and soul! Okay. Peanut butter and jelly! <laughs> I don't know. I have delivered your kin to death. What? I did all this work for you to kill my freaking family. You suck. They're mine, and now you shall become divine. You need to stop trying to rhyme, dude. <sighs> Through you, I am born anew. This sucks. I am your flesh. Hmm. Cool. I will walk the earth as my father once had. I am the gate. So confused. I don't understand. You are sanctified. Is that the end? If that's the end, I'm still confused. Uh-oh, we got noises. Are they making me cross? Because that's not cool. You shouldn't hang the sanctified one on the cross. 
Yep, it looks like they nailed me up. Wonderful. Wonderful! All that work just to get hanged up on a cross. Fan freaking tastic. We need to go back and look who Ethan was. I don't remember. My dear friend. You have found your family. You are not my family, you freaking weirdos. The pain will subside in time. This is a lie. You are liars and I hate you. Now sleep. Sleep and awake anew. You can be part of our naked crew. Who will walk this world forever. But I'm not. Sleep. Sleep! Number one bullshit. <sighs> Thank you for playing. It is absolutely necessary for the peace and safety of mankind that some of Earth's dark to dead corners and unplumbed depths be left alone. Less sleeping abnormalities wake to resurgent life and blasphemously surviving nightmares squirm and splash out of their black layers through never newer and wider conquest. It was a bad game, it just so it looks like they sacrificed their family and it was kind of predictable and it really wasn't scary. Um, it had atmospheric feel for sure. Um, but yeah, I don't know. It was alright. It wasn't bad. It just wasn't great. That one glitch was bullshit. <laughs> like, but I think if you hit the shift key, it fixes it. But yeah, it was a good. It was alright game. Not bad. Way better than I could do. Thanks for watching as always. If you like videos like these, please like and subscribe. Bye!